I don't really know exactly where my accent has kind of, like how my accent has formed because I'm actually from Ballymun. So uh, my accent comes from the north side of the Liffey in Dublin. Uh, came from my mum and my dad. My accent, I've been told, is very British and I think it shocks people because I'm an Irish Nigerian girl. Well, as Gaelge, Dertig will kede. Canons Honamara, Blas Honamara, I'm so. Um, is basically shin antoris of yam lashatang and ni cancer duch sachma a dolma machuts gaelge ikonamara earn the hill on oran. I mean, the first uh, language that I learned was Portuguese from Brazil, so very different to Portuguese from Portugal, so I have kind of a bit that accent. But then my family is from Ecuador. My accent is Scottish and I guess more specifically Glaswegian. I'm from Glasgow. Um, but I guess living in Ireland, it sticks out because I think a lot of people before I speak to them presume I'm going to have an Irish accent. Rogu is told me she and my heritage are going to be in the Agus is as an hunter caring of them a hair, Agus des moe hair in ease in Uned and an Olibin, Kegras, Kondahun and all, the Higus Tachon Horig in all the Hulrushin. My name is Blessing. I am born and raised in Dublin, Ireland. So my accent is from Ireland. Ah, oh, people always say that I would be really good on a podcast. I don't cringe anymore about my accent. I think I kind of take it as my own now. Well, I'm going to go to Mialta. Go to Mialta. Like, it's, it's on a relation. Like, people would just constantly come up to me in college and being like, oh, can you say this word? Can you say this word? Uh, the favourite word for me to say was Dorothy. I sound very soft spoken. And, you know, they told me I'd be really good at ASMR. And I'm like, okay, that's a talent. Shilam Gamenik, Gagap and Dini Gwil Blas, here Hun El Harva Kyol, work as Harva Shave, because Shin can't on the road, the small has the ma, near Vintini Kain Klumsik. People um, seem to want to mimic my accent back to me a lot. And that's always funny to me because they always seem to kind of get it wrong. And I remember a taxi driver said to me once, if you're Irish, then I'm an astronaut. So that was fun. Growing up in Ballymun, I used to get slagged off for sounding posh. And I didn't think I sounded posh at all. I would always kind of struggle to fit in with different communities because within the white community, they see my blackness first. And then within the black community, they hear my voice and I've always been told growing up that I sound white and I talk white. Kentan Rodi is Massa a Dury Lum Sigus Dury Shalom Erhia Tyri Vima or Hursa Sairis Winter Bon Scala Mahain Hamai Agus Biner Winter Bon Scala Kursi Yanugus Ner Heg Denye Adan the Munter Ele Goro Gaelia Ogum Agus Grasti Nangal Du Sibishi King Alakaho Nuaster and Hano in Sigusig Regro what you're going to know and what you're going to get out there and going to turn to you to see because you know girl king of draw and her again gano and her tahi because ashbrush dini heart or tear or fad and shin nervous of the jenny gay get i guess the war shin not roll kaijan gay get and the man skull in the gomaishin is small when people hear that maybe it's someone of like an african descent on the phone sometimes they're not as patient or they don't express a lot of empathy and I think that's probably something people should keep in mind as well to be honest. I remember doing the it was the uh, the Euro 2016 ad campaign and uh, literally there was just so many comments and I'm, I mean I know social media social media but I remember there was just so many comments under it being like I had to turn it off couldn't get past the accent or the poem was great there was the accent. And then I guys said Wow, but it's incredible because you have so much accent. It's like you arrived yesterday. And I was, I, I felt hurt because I was like, I didn't know me feeling a bit Irish or feeling like I'm part of Ireland. It goes in dissonance with having an accent, you know? Accents that sound maybe heavier or thicker, there is definitely a lot of connotations or unconscious biases and prejudice on someone's intelligence or someone's occupation. I think people need to understand that 
accents actually tell a beautiful story of people's journeys um, stories of adaptability resilience culture beauty People, way more when you're a migrant or second generation or third, accents carry such an important weight of who we are. So I think really I wish people saw it as more as a lovely thing and something that is actually really precious. They're all brilliant, they're all interesting and they all, I guess, tell a story about people. So yeah, just um, embrace them and talk to people and find out a bit more. Which I ain't had a more of a scroll art than poker and that that Dan Hanna went to just a ain't a you hate to be a rake and an ish to an any fresh line of genuine the ain't a hot la gail you in the nile a hor and can can you just jash a hort out any a start a stylish you just to nick you know to the meal to the any gay start a shafad relation because a gay start be all air radio hain I guess I think people need to understand that people's accents are not a medium for you to look down on them. They're not a medium for you to decide whether this person is, you know, worth your time or not, but rather their accent is a reflection of where they've come from. And there's so much beauty in that. <laughs>